Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the uh, important, super important question of the um, module four, the IML. So this is repeated two times in the previous year, uh, paper, like in 2022 uh, February paper and as well as the July paper. So make sure you know this very well, and this is also there in the notes. A very important question from exam point of view. So let's have a look at what is this question. This is basically regarding a patient who has uh, given, who has been given with a lab test, and the result comes back as positive for having cancer. So we have to apply the Bayes theorem to actually calculate if the person has the cancer or does not have the cancer based on the previous probabilities that how much uh, the lab testing was correct and how much the lab testing was wrong in which cases got a positive uh, result or a negative result. All these cases are the, uh, given to us, the probabilities are given. Also it's given how much of the total population has cancer, about that also some uh, probabilities are given. Let's have a look at each uh, of these sentence one by one and solve this question. And without wasting any more time, let's get started. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, your support helps me, uh, helps me a lot. I'll make up more videos like this for you and let's get started. See here, this is the question, we'll be going through it uh, one by one. A patient has taken a lab test and the result come back, uh, comes back as positive. Since you are using the base theorem for this problem, we will be writing the base theorem initially here and uh, we will be proceeding further. What, 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 whatever is given, we will be noting down. Okay. A patient is given a lab test and the uh, result comes back as positive. So it's given that test is equal to positive. He has got a positive result. Like how COVID positive, the result will come back. Like that only cancer um, test also, it gave him a positive result. Fine. Next, what it uh, says is the test returns a correct positive result only in 98% of the cases in which the disease is actually present. Here you need to pay attention. Most of the people, they get deviated here and then confuse this whole thing and lose their marks. See, the test returns a correct positive result. See, I'll tell you uh, the thing of what happens in the clinic or wherever the test is happening. The person has a disease or does not have a disease. That is one scenario. The person is given a test or not given a test. That is another scenario. And third scenario is the test will a class means detect it properly or not. That's the third scenario. In our case, the test is given. That is for sure. And the person has cancer or not, we are not sure. So test is being applied upon him and the person has cancer or not, we don't know. And the test comes back as positive. Okay. We don't know if that is correct test or not. Okay. That there are probabilities given. So we are uh, knowing for sure that the test is given the result is positive okay fine the test returns a correct positive result only in 98 percent of the cases in 98 percent of the cases it returns correct positive means the test is given and the person has cancer and it returns back positive result that is happening in 98 percent of the cases rest two of the cases what happens is it returns negative result even though the person has cancer it returns negative result that's what uh, this first sentence means so let's note it down here returns a positive result and cancer is present that is in 98 percent of the cases and uh, in two percent of the cases what happens is it returns negative even though the cancer is present okay that is 0.03 now let's read the next sentence and a correct negative result only in 97 percent of the cases in which the disease is not present the patient is here the patient is given a test the patient does not have cancer and the result is negative that happens in 97 percent of the cases rest three percent of the cases what happens the patient uh, has no cancer but it is showing a positive result okay like that that is happening in rest three percent of the cases returns positive result and the cancer is not present okay this much is clear for you just have to apply the formula now 0.008 percent of the population has cancer and 0.992 percent of the population does not have cancer how i'm calculating these values is just uh, subtract one from these ones and you'll be getting these values okay so don't get confused with what are the terms present okay what is false positive false negative correct positive all i have explained in depth rewind and watch if you did not get okay so these values are given now uh, what we have to find let's have a look does the patient have cancer or not the question looks very simple but you have to apply your brain here the smart person right does a patient have cancer or not that is what we have to find out okay note it down carefully patient has cancer or not why i'm stressing you'll get to know Translating to probabilities, how to translate this into probabilities like in this form. Okay, so let's have a look. Probability of cancer, which is the uh, population thing that is given here 0 0.08, and not cancer 1 minus 0 0.08 is 0 0.992. And this thing given uh, the test result is positive and the patient has cancer. This is first case 0 0.98. Test result is negative, patient has cancer. That is this one 0 0.03 patient uh, the test result is positive but the patient does not have cancer this this case 0 0.003 patient 
patient is given a negative result, but uh, also the cancer is not present. That is correct, the negative, which is 97% of the cases. This exactly. Now we have translated to probabilities, we just have to apply this formula. Before that, we need to know what is this thing, H given D has occurred. What they have asked, patient has cancer or not. We have to find out this and what is given to us. Given to us is positive result. They have to given us, it is positive result. So whatever is present here in D, that will be positive result. And H can be either cancer or not cancer. Then, so that's what we'll be writing here. Cancer, not cancer. Two probabilities will calculate for cancer or not cancer. And given is positive result. Then, we just used to have to apply this formula here. And substitute all the uh, places of D and H, whatever is given. Like, in the place of H, I'll substitute cancer. In this case, wherever I have found H, I'll put there as cancer. And wherever it is positive and wherever it is D, in place of all D, I'll put as positive. So if we put as positive in all, all the places of D, what will happen here, I'll get a positive. What is probability of positive? It is not even given here. What is probability of positive? I don't know. So since we are just comparing two probabilities, we need not care about the denominator. Probability of positive will be here also, in the next also, in the next also, in the next also. Probability of negative will also be in, see, negative will not come. Why? Because only we have positive in both cases. So in all the four cases, we'll be having positive only. So we can just eliminate this one. Okay, that's what a maximum of posteriori algorithm says. So don't stress your head too much. Just think P of D, positive, it's not given, done. Just ignore it. Just you have to consider this numerator. Okay, so if I consider this numerator in the first case, if I substitute cancer for uh, H here, and I substitute plus for wherever I find uh, D here, then what answer I will be getting is this one. Okay, positive given cancer has occurred into probability of cancer. Positive given cancer has occurred into probability of cancer. Now, all these probabilities you can find here, you just have to substitute and use your calculator to find out the answer. You will get two answers, whichever is greater one that will you be considering. In our case, 0 0.298 is far more greater than 0 0.078. That means our patient does not have cancer. Then, that's what we have to finally write and that marks the end of this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.